Hello, today we're going to be looking at how to create bank rules. This seems to be an area that a lot of our clients aren't utilising to the best and it can save you a lot of time. To access the bank rules, scroll down to your one of your bank accounts, click on the three little dots and go to bank rules. Here I haven't got any set up on this example account so let me show you how to create one. On the top right hand side, let's click create rule. So this is a spend money rule, so I'm going to create it for Anglian Water. Most of this, these details are pre-populated, I've just put in the detail there. I'm also going to put the contact as Anglian Water. And it automatically creates that as a new contact within zero. What it does here is you can either allocate certain amounts, if it's a set uh, amount each month, or you can just allocate the remainder. I'm going to put here remainder. You then can just start typing water and your code for the premises expenses water rates will come up. Make sure that the rule's got a name and hit save. If I now go back to my dashboard, hit reconcile 14 items and scroll down to my transaction for Anglian Water, you can see here it's automatically applying a rule. If I hit view details, it just confirms that that amount will be posted to that code and it shows the VAT rate and the amount. If I cancel that for now, and I can click OK. That matches that transaction against the, against the bank rule. Next, if we go back to the bank rules again, we can also look at receive money. I have a rule already here for GMS statements, which I'll show you in a minute. But also, let's add a new one. I'm going to create a new one for HMRC bank interest. In the same way that we created the rule for the spend money and here we're going to create a new contact again we're going to put the description as monthly interest select the account bank interest receivable it already has a rule so we'll hit save so again if we go back to our dashboard Reconcile 13 items and scroll down to the second page. We can see the GMS statements rule applying here, so we can OK that. And then if we had any bank interest in here, that would match. In this example, I don't actually have any bank interest in this period, so I'm going to move on to a different rule. I'm now going to show you how to create a transfer money rule. This can be used for, for transfers between two different bank accounts or from a petty cash account. We hit create rule and we're going to enter here petty cash. We're going to choose the bank account here as the current as the petty cash account and we're going to run this rule only on the current account. We're going to name this rule Petty Cash Transfers and hit save. If I go back up the top right here, there's another way to get back to your bank account. If we scroll down, I can see there's a transaction here, money's coming in from Petty Cash and it's automatically applying the rule. If I view details, we can see that it's transferring £2,000 from the petty cash to the current account in the bank. If I hit cancel and OK, that will match those monies via that bank rule. If I go up the top here now to my petty cash account, you can see that it's saying there's a balance in zero of minus 2000 And if we hit go to the accounts transactions tab, you can see here it's showing the transfer coming in, uh, going out, sorry, in this case, to the current account. Therefore, it ensures that the transfer is not posted twice when you come to look at the petty cash. You just need to bear this in mind. I hope you found that useful. If you need any help, please get in touch and we'd be happy to help.